The shortage of water drove the inhabitants of the city to get supplies along the Guer, one of the most polluted rivers in the country. Unbelievable! It is water from the pipes that the people came to draw. Look, we're at the banks of the Guer, the river where all the wastewater from Caracas is discharged. Whether you are rich or poor, we're forced to come here to get water. It is only here that you can find drinking water. How did we get to this point? You may think that this scenario is still far from us. However, it has already happened. It was last August. Seven towns in Corais found themselves without running water. 4,000 inhabitants were then supplied by tanker truck. I am filling the tank with water to be able to supply a little further. How many rotations do you do per day? Now I'm on the sixth. We'll do seven rotations a day. Every summer now, there is lack of water and recurrent drought. Water is the basic element for hydrating, washing. Hydrate the animals that provide you with milk or when you are breeding. There was shortage of drinking water this summer in Corais because our groundwater was completely dry. Didier Lerman is responsible for the hydraulic network in Alsace. His role is to measure the available water reserves in the groundwater. His observation is very worrisome. Now we're 3.5 meters above ground level, which corresponds approximately to 50 centimeters below the average level that you can usually have at the end of June. The problem is that we have drawn on reserves which are groundwater. They don't recharge in a year or two, but sometimes over several decades. The water must pass slowly while percolating drop by drop. The problem is that the ground layer is fragile. Each time, we will have layers that will have trouble recharging or even collapse. It is definitely potential water reserves that will be lost. If our groundwater is no longer recharged, how will we have access to water in 2050? Should we be worried about a shortage? Cities are likely to become uninhabitable. Living in Paris in 2050 will be difficult. We are not sure if water will flow from the taps. At that moment, the problem is the supply of drinking water to the people. We'll definitely run out of water. According to the United Nations, in 2050, 5.7 billion human beings are likely to live in regions experiencing water shortage at least one month a year. The fight for water has already begun in all four corners of the world. We can imagine that countries already suffering from water crisis in Africa, in some South American countries and in Asia. It's likely to get worse. Look, unfortunately, the pressure points on the surface of the globe. We're fighting for water. Look at what's happening in the Middle East. People are making dams on the Nile to collect water in Sudan. There are already security tensions, be it in the Sahel or in Southeast Asia. The quest for water can even create wars. It's been a call for concern for several decades. The fight for water could get worse because of global warming. Some are already preparing for the worst and think that this water war could reach Europe and even as far away as France. <laughs>